Joe picked up last night. And I woke up this morning in their parking lot and drove an hour to find this. Look, can you see that windy sign? Pilot with a Wendy's. Hey, Wendy's ain't so bad anymore. I kind of like it now. Yeah, so I was going to get fuel here, but <laughs> check it out. Long line backed up. Uh, those guys left. Uh, they were they were parked over to the side waiting, but uh, they left. So I don't know if I'm going to get fuel here, but I'm definitely going to get a shower and some Wendy's. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Uh, more Wendy's. <laughs> Got the Baconator. Double Baconator. Boy, that's bad for me, ain't it? What? You guys got me on this Wendy's kick now. <laughs> Wendy's Double Baconator. <laughs> it's starting to look like a, a commercial for Wendy's. <laughs> I just happened to run into uh, two pilots. Run into a, a pilot twice in a row that had Wendy's, you know. But that looks good, don't it? big ass cheeseburger anyway so you guys know there's absolutely no way that it's it's a it's 12 noon here right now on friday there's no way this load's gonna be delivered a thousand miles away by noon tomorrow that girl knew that when she booked this load you know so anyway uh so i just got me a shower got me some lunch man it's gonna be a long weekend sitting on this freaking load because i mean i figure i'm probably gonna get there well I figure I'm probably going to get there, what, uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, and I'm going to have to sit uh, probably all day Sunday uh, and deliver it Monday morning. It's probably going to be something like that. Anyway, gosh. Well, like I say, though, this job was great for about six or seven months. Then my dis dispatcher quit, and, man, it went to crap. I mean, I'm lucky if I get 2,000 miles a week now and never get home. They can't get me home for anything. I just have to deadhead home from wherever I'm at, and then they take that out of my check. <laughs> you know, so this is really starting to suck. So I gotta make a move here, man. Oh uh, man, any suggestions? Comment below. <laughs> All right, man. I'm calling everybody I can to try to get this worked out, man. But I just tried to tell that dispatcher girl. I said there's absolutely no way I can d deliver this at noon tomorrow. You know, a thousand miles away. She doesn't understand why. And then so. uh then then I and then I asked her I said are they gonna be open if I deliver late and she's like I gotta check I'm not sure shouldn't she have already checked this stuff out man anyway gosh so uh it's been a number of things like that and you guys saw that the load she tried to give me in that last video 451 miles away I mean 451 miles delivered seven o'clock the next morning and I had four hours left on my load uh, anyway <laughs> you know so uh uh, this is a messed up deal so and anyway the guy I just called he can get something done about this uh, what it is they're using one of those you know dispatching services and unfortunately if you use one of those services you can get some dispatchers that do not care man they don't care and that's what I told him I said she don't seem to care to get me home or get me miles either one she thinks I should be happy with 2,000 miles a week you know and being an over-the-road driver oh anyway so hopefully something gets done if it don't man i gotta make a decision i can't stay here doing this there's no way hopefully it works out because i just told him i said hey this went from being the best uh job i've had until to being the worst overnight you know so anyway hopefully it works out but if it don't then hey i gotta do what i gotta do and i'm having to sit here right waiting for them to call me back when i could be driving you know but Hell, it's probably not going to deliver till Monday morning anyway, right? Alright, so anyway, I'll let you guys know what happens. We are at the Mount Airy Effing J off of Exit 6. I uh, think it's I-74. Yep, <laughs> getting fuel again. Yeah, hey, this Mount Airy, this is the one that has the gas station across the street. Weird thing about this one is it, it, it normally doesn't, they don't carry, they normally don't carry vape pods. So I've had to walk across the street, you know, to the gas station to get vape pods before. Hey, but I'll tell you one thing they do have here is really good food. Uh, they got like a cafeteria style setup where you get like, oh, uh, you can get roasted chicken and rice and 
mashed potatoes, green beans, and corn. Uh, they'll have like uh, meatloaf, a meatloaf dinner. Uh, but if, the food here is pretty good. But I mean, let's see what we're dealing with. Can we get in? Oh yeah, we can get in here. Food's good, and a lot of times in the evening they'll have like a parking spot right over here, one or two, that's available. And uh, that's unusual because you would think it'd be crowded, be packed, but sometimes it's not. So don't forget this one. So let's get some fuel. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys, um, we weighed uh, just the front of this truck last night at the paper mill. I had the girl to do it for me, uh, just to see what the front, the weight was on the on the steers because of that scrap metal load, right? And it was 10,690, I think. It's really light, really light. And this load weighs 42,000. So that scrap metal load that I hauled had like an extra 1,300, oh, more than that. Somehow had an extra 3,000 pounds on the front of the trailer. <laughs> I don't know how. But you know that first video I did about the, the scrap metal load? Um, that first vlog style video the load that got really screwed up to screw the week up okay so there was definitely something wrong with that load man the front of that trailer and the back of that trailer was so much heavier than the middle and i knew it was based on what this truck weighed last night on uh, on the scale at the paper mill that scrap metal load was all kinds of screwed up <laughs> oh man so anyway like i said now uh i had a conversation with this girl on the phone and uh, she could not understand why I couldn't deliver this load at noon tomorrow. It's a thousand miles away. And so I, I called the big, one of the big guys, you know, and he understood what I was talking about and all that. And he said he was going to talk to somebody. Then her supervisor calls and she asks, why can't you deliver the load by noon? <laughs> so I was like, it's a thousand miles. I had to explain it to her, you know, and, uh, gosh you know if i run my hours out today get up at seven o'clock in the morning what, what time am i going to be there okay and it's not going to be noon and she was like i don't know i said about five five or six it's not noon and that place is probably going to be closed right anyway so god almighty so um now what is she saying well you after you deliver that load you might just want to do a 34 reset no shit I tried to tell her yesterday I'm going to get about 2,100 miles for this week. I, I've been telling her this for about the past two days. Something like, I've been telling her. I know what's going to happen. I've been in. I've been doing this long enough to know how this is going to play out. Okay, I'm getting screwed. I'm out, I'm running. I'm spinning my wheels out here for nothing. So anyway, I just texted uh, the guy that brought me on. Told him I need to put in my two weeks notice. Although I'm seriously considering just driving this freaking truck to their yard and dropping it off after this load that's too many other things i can do man uh it's i don't i am not gonna waste my freaking life out here for two thousand miles a week spending weeks out here on the freaking road man uh, and, and last week was 1300 miles i mean God, it's like it don't make sense man and they don't seem to be trying to do anything to fix the situation so anyway i don't know what else to do man except go do something else you know it just don't make sense to be out here i mean what the hell man what i'm making i, I, I can make that doing something else and be home more often you know i can go find a local job and make this much money uh, anyway so i'll keep you guys posted as to what happens and yeah that freaking video shop app screwed that last video up oh man that app used to screw up a long time ago. Remember when we used to do these vlog type videos and we'd post the video, even after you watch the video about three times and make sure it's perfect before you upload it. Then when you upload it, it used to shrink the screen way down. <laughs> uh, shrink the scene way down on the screen where you couldn't hardly see anything. Then, then it used to do this thing where it, it would make the screen real dark uh and then uh it would it would rotate some some clips um oh it used to put lines in some of the clips and then also okay and now it, it, it's like uh it's doing that thing it used to do where it would put the music in the wrong spot 
and stuff like that so that video shop app it's really handy because there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it and it's quick it's really fast but it screws up sometimes man if you guys know of another editing app i know about i know about video show but you can't do much with it but with these types of videos you don't really need much anyway um a video show is really fast and good for uh, putting your videos together but you can't do much with it um, I may have to just break down and start using my laptop but it takes so freaking long to edit a video on that laptop man mm, maybe I'm just using the wrong software so anyway alright thanks for watching we'll do this again it out. <laughs> trying to shut down this pilot uh, where the hell am I at I forgot uh, don't you just love shit like this? <laughs> What's with these pilots, man? These people blocking them. Yeah, I don't think this pilot's gonna have parking anyway. I just want the hell out of here. Oh, he's finally moving forward. Okay, um... Uh, what the hell? This is exit 10, I-75. Uh, what? Where the hell am I at? Yeah, as you can see, no freaking parking. Hey, that might be a good job right there, driving for pilot. I'm thinking about maybe doing that next. But anyway, this is Eaton, Ohio. Eaton, Ohio. But there's a TA across the overpass from here, so that's where we're going to go. We'll head to that TA. Look at this shit. I had to drive across the freaking scale to get out. God dang, man. Pilots, man. There she is. You guys see any parking? Let me know if you see any. I can't. I can't look because I'm driving. So I hope they have something. Let's see. Uh, come on, Tia. You gotta have some parking now. Well, I'm not seeing anything, but this is a pretty big truck stop, so. Surely we'll find something. Look over there. Do you see anything over there? Uh, hope we find parking here because I'm down to eight freaking minutes on my log. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, I got some spaces there. I got some spaces there. We got plenty of parking out here. Let's grab us a spot. Oh my word. Look at that pretty Peterbilt. Look at it. Beautiful white Peterbilt. Oh, it's got the three drives, the, the three sets of drives on the back. See that? That is so cool. That's a good looking truck, man. Anyway, we're going to flip around right here, do a little U-turn and go back and park in one of them spots. Uh, see, I'm holding this camera out, but I'm not looking at the camera. I'm watching my driving. You guys are seeing stuff I'm not seeing, but I'll see it later when I watch the video. Baby, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do a U-turn. Uh, we're gonna shoot it into that one right there. We're gonna shoot it into that one right there. Hell yeah, baby. Hey, can y'all see that back there? That trailer that's backed up right there where I'm going? I think his ICC bar is a little past the yellow line right there. So when I back in, I got to be really careful. Because I don't want to bump into him. Ah. Yeah, man. That sucks. I gotta be really careful backing up right here. We're gonna go check this out real quick because it sure looks like he's really close to me. I sure don't want to slam into his freaking trailer. But it looks like he's backed up too far. Or maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. No? No, he's right on the line. Well, he's a little past the line. How did I know that? How the hell did I know he was past that line? Well, he's not past it much. It's always good to get out and look, though, and make sure. Okay, I got plenty of space to back up. See, if he's back behind that line too far, I wouldn't be able to park in this spot. I'd have to move over. It sucks when they do that, but it does happen. Back this thing 
out just a little more. Should be able to get even with this guy's bumper right here. Let's see. He's not past that line too much, so this should be fine. And I don't have to be perfectly even with this bumper either. Into, gotta ease into this. In case I do bump him, then he can't say I hurt him again. Bump this freaking trailer, next thing you know, you're gonna have a lawsuit for messing his back up or some shit. There we go. I think that's good enough. <laughs> Hold on, we don't have to be perfect anyway. Look at this shit! Removed from the vehicle. I didn't caught on to something with this. We're gonna talk about this. Let's go check check this out. Perfect. That's some perfect backing right there, man. Oh, you guys can't even see me. <laughs> okay, so we can roll the windows up, shut everything off. There we go. Turn the parking lights on. Uh, what else? Okay, anyway, so this shit right here. I figured something out. Alright, so, uh, remember how... Uh, remember how I was saying that that girl kept saying on the phone, the dispatcher girl, she kept saying, You don't want to drive! You don't want to drive! I kept, I kept wondering why she keeps... Why, she, why does she keep saying that? Okay, because the phone calls are, are recorded, you know, so I, I got to thinking about that and I noticed how I'd wake up in the mornings and say I set my, my alarm for like six hours after I went to bed, like I wanted to get up and do something, then I'd wake up and I'd either be signed out of the truck like I am now or my log would be certified. <laughs> so, they're messing with the log, right? Okay, so uh, I went in and looked and sure enough you guys saw me do all that driving around yesterday and then it, it they she's edited that log to make it look like i sat all day <laughs> so is she setting me up or something i think there's something on that lens but anyway i don't know it looks real suspicious like she's trying to set it up to make it look like that i'm sitting around not wanting to drive but anyway so i talked to the big guy now the girl the the girl you know is she's got the the girl that owns it the runs the whole thing she's got got the virus so <laughs> but the guy that's like in charge of her office the guy i talked to earlier he was like no they're not they're not trying to run me off because i wouldn't recruit or something like that it's nothing like that it's it, everybody likes me and all that it's uh it's just that they got they got this dispatching service they use and evidently i've pissed them off by complaining on them but hell if they do their freaking job with me complaining i guess i got one of them in trouble now they're ganging up on me the dispatchers are that's the bad thing about using a dispatching service you know uh if you use a dispatching service and you piss one of them off and they work together mm, you could be screwed you know and that's what it's looking like has happened now, he told me earlier, he said, if you have to put in your two weeks notice, I understand, you know. Man, so it doesn't look like there's much we can do. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. So it's looking like, you know what I've said before, these jobs play out, man. It's looking like this one's playing out. I think I need to go a different route, man. Oh, man. I've been doing this for what? Uh, about four years this time, man, but... I mean, 
uh, I think I need to change up my approach. <laughs> change up what I'm doing. Over the road drive and I think I need to switch to something else. I've never done flatbed before. I've never done tanker. I've never done doubles. Mm, I'm thinking maybe maybe trying the tanker thing. Anyway, so I'll let you guys know. I gotta fix the log now. Mm. I bet you they better did it to make it look like I sat all day and didn't drive or something. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's been fun. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll keep you guys posted as to what happens. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time. Jedi.